It's really bright in here, but you saw that, right? The point is, here we go. A little work makeup. I don't know why I'm whispering. It's just it's so quiet. Give it up on consistency, but I will stick to. Oh, there's a pimple coming right here. Um, I will stick to reliability, meaning no, I can't guarantee I'll be here every week or every other week like I plan to. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. But you can count on me to eventually come back. We're gonna use this. This is not the night cream. So the night cream has something in it that you're not supposed to uh, have sun exposure with. So be careful with that. This is just the regular one. Being more mindful about our time in the sun. Like, you don't have to avoid it. And if you can't avoid it, you don't have to bring it out. Oh, it spots up on my neck. I actually, I need, I usually use oil on my face because it's lighter and I feel like it fits me better. But. And then we'll go on with this. My wet and wild photo focus. These two brushes only. Date makeup, I add this one. I didn't even show y'all I got a, oops, well I got a new eyebrow thing, but the old one's not finished yet, so that's why that one's still in the plastic. Still working on this one. But I got a new eyebrow pencil. <laughs> I'm gonna be using this as my mirror, as usual. Yeah, so I bought this, I was like beauty supply store hunting for some makeup and the ones by where I live now, I don't like them, but there's another one a little further. It's bigger and I want to go see what it's about. First of all, I need to buy some hair and redo my twists. And I'll show you how to refresh twists at the end of this. I'm taking too long, it's already 6.20. I try to draw it this way, it usually gives me a better result. I guess because it's covering the hair from against the grain, I don't know. Yeah, and then we go in with this Ruby Kisses Gold Brow Eyebrow Pencil Dark Brow RBWPO2. That's really this brow over here. It needs filling at the front, a little in the middle. Oh. And down just a bit. It comes with a sharpener. Ta da! Brow. It's not as naked as before, right? This one I won't really fill in. Just at the end. So I guess I will fill it, but like the end, different places. The eyebrows have different priorities to fill. Unless I'm like building it from scratch like I used to. Where I was building like an entire shape with concealer and eyebrow pencil. You can hear the bathroom, right? I feel like the bathroom has the thinnest walls of my apartment. Okay. Eyebrows done. This pencil, I really like. 
shoot. I was gonna use this, but I'm just gonna use this. This is tan. Just like a light brushing. Just to set under the brow and the top. Bam, bam, bam. I liner time. So these are just my like trusty products, like things that I know won't fail me. It took a while for me to find an eyebrow one, except for the under eye part, but like the filling in part. But that one, I think it's the one. You know, depending on the day, my eyeliner shape changes, and that or it's like. Partially because of skill level, which isn't really there. It's like there enough to get by. But I can't always get the result I want. So. I just need more time. I guess more practice. But it's also sometimes desire. It's like, what looks good on me today? And today we're going to try to do that. Like this one's already a little too flat. But we're gonna make it work. They're a little different. We're gonna keep it like that. But for right now, this is what I've been doing. This daily thing right here. And I'll be putting on, I think this one. Usually I put on Papagrath. But that is my go-to, like, without fail, mascara. Like, when I'm like, don't have time to play around, I'm not playing with depth or thickness or whatever, and I just want some good lashes, the Pamagrath always does me right, just like Maybelline. But Maybelline can be different results depending on the mascara. Then that's how they design them. But anyway, I need to go get the Total Temptation again. My eyelashes are a little unruly this morning. Does that happen to anybody else? Sometimes your eyelashes will be like a little unruly. Like, this is a good comb. So, I don't know why they're acting like this. <laughs> Just clean up. Hmm. I've been using this lately. Grab on color stable cover. I'm actually in the market for new foundation. Uh, Because mine are, this is like the only one of four I have left. And if you have been on this channel, you know I like foundation, so I used to have a lot more. But, you know, as I use them up, I don't always replace it right away. Just so that I can use other people up too. I just take it up by the side of the nose just because. Makeup wise. Alright. And then I'll set it with this. Again, the medium. If I wanted something redder and closer to my skin tone, I use dark, I think. Whichever one was the one deeper than this. It's like one deeper in the collection. That's the one I use because it just disappears right on the skin. It's really nice. And then the one of the colors is like super red undertone, so it gives me like a nice little flush, a natural looking flush. Because it's not red, it's like a brown, and it's just got red tones. Anyway, this is the one I use like basically though to set under the eye because it's light. But it's 
is not too like brightening when you use just um you know an amount comfortable with and you get that this step See, it's only six, three, four. And then I'll use this. The color is ridiculous. It's <coughs> it's translucent. But so if you're someone who takes out pictures, it's supposed to not give flashback. But I don't know. I don't take any pictures to work. Um, and I just oop. Last weekend, I went out or whatever, but I like randomly, I didn't even go anywhere where there was like loud yelling, but I randomly lost my voice, maybe Saturday evening or something, and it was just like, why? I was so powdered here, because if you're like me, you're a lip sweater, and uh, even though I don't put makeup there, it helps control a lot of excess moisture, just to control a little bit. Like, I noticed that as much as I like a moisturized look, that my skin looks better when I powder it and make it, like, soft. Makeup done. I'll just put on lip gloss. I'll show it to you. So is this. Oh, Nika K. Strawberry Cheesecake. Oh, I watched a movie on Hulu last night. Called Premature. It just really took me back. Like, I really liked how they filmed it. It just, it was really, I don't know. It was just really good. I really liked it called premature. It's expiring on Hulu soon, which makes me mad, but oh, I owe Victoria's Secret some money, but like one of the best things I did there was get this. Anyway, work makeup done. y'all wanted to see what the day looks like at the end. 8.41. There's still quite a bit of powder left under my eye. My eyeliner stays on perfectly. The mascara doesn't really hold up all day, but be forgiven. Eyebrows. This is the one I didn't really draw. This is the one I did draw. It keeps getting hit by the light, so it looks a little <clears throat> then even but yeah eyebrows intact eyeshadow aka the bronzer I put on my eyelid oiled away see see how there's like just that, that much powder left I think that's just the powder that clung to the foundation which is perfectly fine with me okay bye I have to be so bad